What's up you guys? My name is Jan and today I'm going to teach you how to learn and strengthen your E minor. Very, very popular minor chord. We'll be talking about what fingers to put on what strings with all the detail that you need. Then we're going to talk about what the thumb does on this chord. We'll learn how to take the shape off and put it back on the guitar to further strengthen the shape. And then we're also going to take it around the guitar by sliding it up and down the neck and strengthening that shape even more as we learn to take it around the neck. So grab your guitar and let's get started. Now in order to play an E minor, uh, we're going to find our middle finger of our left hand or right hand if you're left-handed and we're going to go to the second fret and we're going to go to the one, two, three, four, to the fifth string. Then we're going to find our ring finger of the left hand. We're going to go on that same second fret and we're going to go on the one, two, three, fourth string. It's a minor chord, a sad chord. Let's see if we can do that one more time. So we find our middle finger of the left hand. We go on the first string on the second fret and then we go to the second, third, fourth, and fifth strings and uh, we put our middle finger roughly in the middle of that fret and then we find our ring finger we go on that same fret and we go on the one, two, three on the fourth string and we give it a strum and notice that I'm not talking about the thumb it's not going to come over and mute uh, that bottom string is now part of an E it sounds good with it so do not mute with the thumb Just keep them around here so your wrist is not forward like that so he's over the neck, but he's not touching any strings. Now a bad E minor would be all your fingers like by themselves like that. This is very tense, this is hard to remember. Put those two fingers together. The shape you will learn repeats itself all over the, the guitar. And um, depending on context, you might change this fingering to where your index finger is on the second fret, one, two, three, four fifth on the fifth string and your middle finger on the one two three on the fourth string so you're using your index and your middle as opposed to your middle and your ring that'll depend on context I suggest you first learn it with your middle finger and with your ring finger because that'll be the same shape you'll need for an E major also for an A minor and some other chords so maybe use your middle and your ring and then down the road you can learn the other shape as well now you can quality control your chord by picking each string individually to see if it brings out clean. And at first you'll probably get some problems here and there. They might not ring out all perfect. It sure took me a while to get this chord to be clean. But I practice anyway, so if your strumming starts sounding like this, maybe not very clean, don't worry about it. Practice anyways chord will clean up over time but every now and then quality control it and maybe you find a little problem and you can wiggle your fingers around or arch in a little bit more or a little bit less and all the strings should ring out on your E minor now something you can do to strengthen the shape although it's a, um, one of the easiest shapes on the guitar is you can take the guitar uh, excuse me your hand off of the guitar and put it back on test your chord again, take it back off, put it back on. As you put it on, you will notice how well you held the shape as you took it off. And this is something to do uh, maybe when you're watching a film, um, maybe 10 or 20 times. Don't spend a whole lot of time with it, but try it out a little bit, see what, see what you think. And then another thing you can do is you can move this chord around. pressure off of the strings but still staying in contact with those strings and moving around to a new fret. So it doesn't work super well on E minor but it works. I think it's good practice for you guys to uh, get some strength into that shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to play an open E minor where both my middle and my ring finger are on the second fret. Then I'm going to move that shape up one, two, three frets to the fifth fret. 
again I'm going to lift the pressure, I'm going to slide up another two frets to my seventh fret, and I'm going to strum it there, and then I'm going to lift my pressure and go back to the first chord where my fingers are on the second fret, and I'll strum that. So uh, let's play with those three chords. I'm going to strum each one for a count of four, and as the progression comes around the E minor will be uh, actually a four count of four. But I'll talk you through it, so get ready with that E minor, and, uh, and here we go. Remember, we do not meet with a thumb on this chord. And here we go. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, slide up, one, two, fifth fret, three, four, and strum, one, two, three, slide up, and one, two, seventh fret, ready, and one, Slide down one, two, second fret, ready, and one, two, three, four, one, two, fifth fret, and one, two, three, four, one, two, seventh fret, ready, and one, two, three, four, one, two, back to the beginning, ready, and one. Speed it up. Ready? One, two, three, and one, two, three. Slide up and one, two, fifth fret and one, two, three, four, one, two, seventh fret. Ready and one, two, three, four, one, two. Back to the second fret and one, two, three, four, one, two. Let's do that one more time. Ready and one. Seventh fret, ready, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and back to the open position, and so there it was. How to learn and strengthen an E minor. This helps a lot of my students out, and hopefully it'll help you too. It'll get you ready for changing into these chords. So I hope you learned something today. I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe.